Welcome to the Inside Word. And we've got three days now before the election this Saturday. This is a crucial time in the Westminster system. You've got to get those undecided voters and those swinging voters to move either to support the LNP or of course to support the opposition and the independents. The strategy that the government's been using so far is putting through a strong plan for a strong economy, putting through vision statements and the privatisation element, which is selling a lot of the electricity assets and ports to pay down debt and to use a proportion of that to recycle back into infrastructure, into key seats, seems to be having some resonance. The ALP on the other side, uh, supported by the unions, particularly the CFMEU and the Rail and Tram Union, have been trying to put a wedge on this issue, saying we can't sell these assets, and in fact they're going to sell the buses and trams and everything else, which is totally wrong. Theirs is based on fear and scare. And of course, if you've got no policies, that's probably the best way to go. Whereas the government is still trying to stick to its prudent fiscal record and trying to demonstrate that they've got a plan for the future. Some of the subtexts that have been coming through have course is some of the elements that the media have been using the opposition of attacking the integrity of the government the bikey laws as I mentioned in my earlier inside word but again the next three days is quite crucial uh, as I forecast before the LNP should be returned I mean they've got 73 seats out of an 89 seat parliament so they've got to lose a hell of a lot of seats not to retain office nevertheless um, there are still crucial battlegrounds to be fought. North Queensland around Cairns, the, all the seats in Townsville around pl in play. You've got suburbs in the northern part of Brisbane, south of, some parts of southern Brisbane, of course, Ipswich, were in, which are in play right now. So in many cases it will be seat by seat as that swing between 6 to 10 percent, maybe 11 percent, starts to move across the state. Uh, the big unknown, as we've all been talking about, is what will happen in Ashgrove. Will the Premier hold his seat? Uh, insiders on both sides of the political fence, it's very tight. Uh, so it'll come down to the wire for, for Campbell Newman. On the federal level, um, the tactics, of course, of going early, trying to keep Canberra and the federal guys out of the election, worked well until Australia Day. And the Prime Minister's decision to give a knighthood to Prince Philip um, has really gone down as a lead balloon. And the word is in Canberra is that the backbenchers and many ministers in the coalition now are really starting to question the judgment of the Prime Minister, which is a very dangerous place to be. So I suspect you'll see some pretty significant movement happening when Parliament resumes on the 9th, and really the Prime Minister's probably got a couple of months to improve his act, uh, or there could be a leadership spill. That's all from the inside word.